In this video, we're going to look at multi mode. Please make sure you've watched the previous video covering level, pitch, filter, envelope, and loop slice in main mode before you watch this video covering those same functions in multi mode, as otherwise, this will be harder to follow than a badger on a chessboard. Let's start by assigning this sample to track A1. As covered in the last video, this track has a set of parameters level, pitch, filter, envelope, and loop slice. If I select the first of those parameters, being level, and then select multi mode, I now have eight additional sets of parameters for this track. Hence, it's a multi mode. I can now use the faders to set eight different levels for this one sample. When we get to the sequencing and programming video, you'll see that you can utilize this and record multi mode parts. Next, I'll navigate to pitch whilst in multi mode, and I can now use the faders to set up an additional eight different pitch variations of the same sample. Pitch resolution that was demonstrated in the previous video is still applicable in multi mode. Whilst in either level or pitch, you can also edit the filters per multi. Press Shift and B on a multi to bring up the filter settings menu from where you can choose the filter mode low pass, band pass, or high pass. We'll cover multi mode sync later in this video and override in another video, but if you scroll to the bottom, you can use the set for all tracks option if you want to switch all the filters in this multi to the same mode with one button press. Using the stacked knobs and the pads, you can set up the filters per multi. Next, if I select envelope whilst in multi mode, I now have eight additional sets of envelopes for this track. You can still activate the hi fi envelope editor per multi using the A buttons, cycle through the envelopes per multi using the B buttons, and activate the optional classic volume for all multis within this track from the track settings menu. For multi mode loop slice, I'm going to switch samples from a one shot to a drum groove as this will help demonstrate this more effectively. By the way, if I press a pad, the drum sample plays back. If I want it to stop playing, I just hit shift plus back. So you don't have to sit there and wait for a longer bit of audio to play all the way through, you can stop it. Press loop slice and activate multi mode, then press A on the track in question to bring up the sample editor. I can now set up eight additional slices and eight additional loops for this drum groove, one on each pad. Everything is the same as was shown in the previous video with start points, loop points, end points, repeats, zero crossings, zooming, normalization, saving, etc. If you need a quick reminder, hit the help button for the slice help. To move between each slice, use the pads. So the first multi, I'm gonna isolate this kick drum. Just move the end point, set a zero crossing, all done. Next one, I'm gonna isolate this hi-hat, set the start point. Pretty good, I'm just gonna dial that in a bit better with samples, set a zero crossing, all done. If you do that eight times, you'll wind up with You can then replay them in any order you want and you can sequence them in any order, which I'll show you on the next video. A quick note, files of up to 64 megabytes can be assigned to tracks and edited on the machine. Files smaller than two megabytes can be stored in the playback buffer and you can navigate between slices seamlessly with no loading time. Files over two megabytes and up to 64 megabytes use the whole RAM as the edit buffer and there is therefore a small loading time when switching between slices for bigger files. But once you come out of the editor and trigger your slices, there is obviously no loading time. Now, things are about to get a wee bit tasty because we can activate multi-mode sync. What does this mean? 
It means that instead of using one parameter at a time, level, pitch, filter, envelope, loop, slice, you can choose parameters that you wish to be synced and have them simultaneously active. So I could discreetly and simultaneously set up the level, pitch, filter, envelope, and loop slice per multi within one track. To demonstrate the power of this, I'm going to load up one single note from my TB303. Mmm, juicy. I'm going to start with pitch this time, so I hit pitch and multi mode, and then hit shift and press an A button to bring up the pitch settings menu. From here, I will activate multi mode sync for pitch. Press back to return, and then use the faders to set eight pitches. Whilst still in pitch mode, I will hit Shift and B on Multi 1 to bring up the filter settings. Again, I will activate Multi Mode Sync, this time for the filters. I'm now going to use the pads to move from one multi to another, and I will set different filter modes for each some low pass, some band pass, some high pass. I will also use the stack knobs to dial in the initial filter position and resonance for each of those eight filters. So that's now eight different pitches and eight different filter setups, but we can keep going. Next, I'll switch to level and you guessed it, hit shift and A to bring up the level settings menu from where I will activate multi-mode sync for level. Hit back to return and use the faders to balance out the levels of your multis to your liking. This is particularly useful when mixing multis that use different filter modes and resonance amounts. Hence, I did this after setting up the filters. Finally, I will head down to envelope, and you're thinking, hang on a second, have I got three envelopes per multi within one track? Yes, you have. I hit Shift and A to bring up the envelope settings menu from where I can activate multi mode sync for the envelopes. If I also activate the classic volume envelope, as shown in the previous video, I now have three envelopes per multi that can contour volume, filter cutoff, and pitch. You can also use multi-mode sync for your loops and slices too, but for now, as I've been using a one note sample, loops and slices aren't really applicable. Instead, I'm going to show you a baseline using multi-sync level, pitch, filter and envelope I've set up with some simple accompaniment. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, to reiterate, the bass line came from one single note from a TB303, and it was all contained within one track of the 32 available, and it only used one single channel of the eight output channels. Now consider that you're not restricted to one single note from a TB303, and that you can assign any audio you like to a track up to 64 megabytes, and you're probably going, and we haven't even looked at sequencing yet. We'll do that in the next video. Thank you.